it comes down to most of all is uh, improving the cost. You work hard your whole life, and when you finally decide to buy a so-called affordable electric car, you're hit with a $10,000 battery replacement, told to wait an hour to charge, and warned, don't park it in the garage, it might catch fire. Sound familiar? For years, lithium-ion batteries have powered everything from your phone to your car, but they come with real problems. They're expensive, slow to charge, risky when overheated, and heavily reliant on foreign-controlled minerals. So that the affordability of batteries is of, of, of battery-powered cars, of electric vehicles, um, is improved, and so that er everyone can afford to buy an electric car. Now Tesla might be flipping the script with a new battery that's cheaper, safer, faster, and could last up to 30 years. And here's the kicker. This battery might already be inside the upcoming $15,990 Tesla Model 2, scheduled for launch in 2026. Could this be the battery breakthrough EVs have been waiting for? Is aluminum ion really that much better than lithium? And will it finally make EVs practical for the average driver, like you? Let's break it all down. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, and here's everything you need to know. Why is it time to replace lithium-ion batteries? By aluminum-ion battery, lithium-ion batteries have powered electric vehicles for over 15 years. They helped kickstart the EV movement, enabling companies like Tesla to challenge legacy automakers. But as global EV adoption accelerates, from about 10 million EVs sold globally in 2023 to a projected 35 million by 2030, Lithium-ion is hitting serious limitations in cost, scalability, and safety. Let's start with cost. A typical lithium-ion EV battery pack costs between $120 and $150 per kilowatt hour. For a 60 kilowatt hour pack, common in many Teslas, that's $7,200 to $9,000 just for the battery. Factor in supply chain markups, thermal management systems, and profit margins, and a full battery replacement can run consumers $10,000 or more. This is a major reason why EVs, even so-called affordable ones, remain out of reach for most working-class buyers. Now consider the supply chain. Lithium is not rare, but it's geographically concentrated. Over 70% of global lithium production comes from just three countries, Australia, Chile, and China. Add cobalt to the equation over 60% of which is mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the risks compound. Geopolitical instability, labor exploitation, and export restrictions can all disrupt supply and spike prices. In contrast, aluminum is the most abundant metal in Earth's crust, and it's mined in over 40 countries worldwide, including the US, Canada, and Australia. This not only makes aluminum far cheaper, around $2,000 per ton versus $78,000 per ton for lithium hydroxide, but also massively reduces geopolitical risk. Performance is another concern. Lithium-ion batteries store energy by moving lithium ions between an anode and cathode. Each lithium ion carries one positive charge, allowing one electron transfer per ion. But aluminum ions carry three positive charges, enabling three electrons per ion. This means aluminum ion batteries, in theory, can store three times more energy per ion and potentially reach volumetric energy densities of up to 1,300 watt-hours per liter compared to 250 to 700 watt-hours per liter for typical lithium-ion packs. Some early-stage lab studies even speculate that aluminum-ion batteries could eventually deliver up to 10 times the energy density of lithium cells, though such performance remains theoretical at this stage. Then, there's charging speed. The rate at which ions move through the electrolyte and electrodes dictates how fast a battery charges. Lithium-ion batteries, even with fast chargers, take 30 to 60 minutes to reach 80%. In comparison, some experimental aluminum ion cells have demonstrated charging times under three minutes in laboratory conditions. This brings the EV refueling experience much closer to a gasoline fill-up, solving one of the biggest friction points for traditional drivers considering the switch to electric. 
Hold on. Would you rather charge your EV in three minutes or pay less for a safer battery? Comment one if you prefer super fast charging like a gas station. Comment two if you care more about lower cost and safety. Tell us why in the comments your opinion helps shape the future of EV tech. If you've made it this far and enjoy our tech-packed EV content, and if you want more updates like this, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join thousands of smart drivers who never miss a shift with Auto Gear Shift. Let's hit 4,945 subscribers, one gear at a time. Now, back to where we stopped. Safety is another major issue. Lithium-ion batteries are flammable under high temperatures or physical damage due to their flammable organic electrolytes. According to data from the National Fire Protection Association, EV fires involving lithium batteries have risen year over year and require specialized firefighting protocols. Aluminum ion cells, on the other hand, can use non-flammable ionic liquid electrolytes, significantly reducing the risk of thermal runaway and combustion. This safety feature not only protects passengers but also reduces the need for complex and heavy cooling systems, further lowering EV production costs and increasing cabin space. Durability is also a key factor. Most lithium-ion EV batteries begin to degrade after 1,500 to 2,000 full charge cycles, equivalent to about 150,000 to 200,000 miles under typical driving. In contrast, Aluminum ion prototypes have been shown to withstand 10,000 to 15,000 cycles with minimal capacity loss. This translates to lifespans of 1 to 2 million miles, or 25 to 30 years, depending on driving habits. Some researchers even speculate about 4 million mile use cases in optimized conditions. For consumers, this means one battery for the entire lifetime of the vehicle. No replacement needed. Finally, Consider environmental sustainability. Mining lithium and cobalt involves heavy water usage and causes significant environmental degradation, including chemical runoff and land disruption. Aluminum mining, while not perfect, generally has a lower environmental footprint, especially when using renewable-powered smelters. Plus, aluminum is one of the most recyclable industrial materials in the world with over 75% of all aluminum ever produced still in use today. This supports a circular economy and helps reduce long-term EV waste. In short, the reasons for replacing lithium-ion are mounting fast, skyrocketing material costs, unsafe thermal profiles, long charging times, limited lifespan and supply chain vulnerabilities. Aluminum-ion doesn't just offer a potential solution, it offers a future where EV batteries are cheaper, faster, safer, longer lasting, and greener. For Tesla, whose goal is to deliver a $15,990 Model 2 to the mass market, switching to aluminum ion technology may not be a luxury. It could be the only way to make the economics work. What exactly is Tesla doing? And how does Model 2 fit into the aluminum ion revolution? Tesla has always made it clear, battery technology is not just an engineering challenge, it's a race to future dominance. From the groundbreaking 4,680 cells unveiled during previous Battery Day events to their relentless push to lower cost per kilowatt hour, Tesla's innovation curve remains steep. Their goals aren't small. Double energy density, halve production costs, Eliminate cobalt and scale faster than any automaker has ever done before. So when whispers of a new battery chemistry, aluminum ion, began surfacing in tech circles, all eyes naturally turned to Tesla. And now, with the company confirming in its second quarter 2025 earnings report that the long-anticipated Model 2 could launch as early as fourth quarter 2025, curiosity around what powers that vehicle has hit a new peak. Rumors surrounding Tesla's potential shift to aluminum-ion batteries are more than just idle speculation. They're rooted in reports that tie this next-gen chemistry directly to the upcoming Model 2, also codenamed Redwood. This vehicle is expected to be Tesla's first mass-market EV priced well under $25,000, and aluminum-ion could be the technological key that unlocks this affordability. 
Compared to traditional lithium ion, aluminum ion cells offer theoretical advantages in charge speed, safety, and supply chain resilience. Aluminum ion tech may solve nearly every problem that's held electric vehicles back price, charging time, safety, supply chain, and lifespan. But what do you think? Would you trust a first gen aluminum ion battery in your next car? Do you believe this tech will be the turning point for EVs? or just another overhyped promise? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss our next update on the future of electric vehicles.